At Seattle's historic Washington Hall, a group gathered to reflect on the impact of Pastor Patronel Wright. Most knew her from the Total Experience Gospel Choir, a group she founded in 1973 that performed in 28 countries in its 45-year history, not to mention some gigs for a few U.S. presidents. I got to see the world through the choir. Yeah, Japan, five times. The world was her stage, literally. So what was being in the Total Experience Gospel Choir like? She was fun, um, but she was strict. She let you know if you were singing wrong. <laughs> she let you know. No, 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 no tenors, no. All that blasting out there wrong just gets on my one nerve. Here we go. She was a perfectionist to the heart. It was a lot, but it was all out of love and it was all out of to prepare us to be who we are today. When there's nothing left to do, you Singer Josephine Howell was part of another Pat Wright legacy. The Black Nativity production became this holiday tradition in Seattle for well over a decade. Black Nativity kept the Seattle and surrounding areas together. Everybody, all nationalities, all beliefs, everybody would come. While Wright often sang in groups, her voice could hold a room on its own. She would always say, don't think of a song musically. Think of the story that you're telling. That's why she sounded so different. And musicians say playing with Pat often meant a wild ride. You never knew what song was coming up next. And I'm going, I don't know what we're going to do here. It would all be what she felt like and how the room was uh, inspiring her. Pastor Wright mostly sang gospel, but she did have a cult hit in the secular space. It was just a little love affair. She recorded the tune Little Love Affair in 1969, only to find out years later it had become a thing. Well, I was absolutely floored when this lady came all the way from London, England to my church and said, are you Patronelle Staten? I said, I am. She says, I dance to you every Friday and Saturday night. I said, where? She said, in London. And I went, really? But Pat Wright's greatest accomplishments might be something you'd never see on a stage. It was how she lived her life and the impact it left on those around her. Singing was not just because she could sing well. It was a ministry. She loved on me the way a mother would love on a child. So she would not let me slide under the radar or live under my potential. It was not accepted. She would go visit the sick, that she would feed the home, that she would use her own money to help others, that she did what the Word of God said. While Seattle and the world have lost this powerful voice in Patronelle Wright, her legacy of love will live on.